board the ship. Things are popping off. Interviews, swimsuits, Rack doing his thing, Blue Turtle doing his thing, and Dorsey collecting so many more simps on Shibisu. Shibisu even did a cat call, and the other girls are like, damn, who was that shaved head dude in the fucking tracksuit? My man's built different. Um, I think the main battle already started, right? It's like, um, and then Misen showed up, just looking like in berserk mode. Let's begin today's reaction. Purinsu. In a schoolgirl outfit. Matching. Oi! That weird octopus girl really likes shipping these two together. Yo. Did the octopus just talk? She's fucked in the head. <laughs> Prince of Misang ship. Huh? I hate this girl. I don't think she's cute. I don't think this is funny. She's a power tripping fucking psycho that's been given this octopus power to do whatever she wants with it. It's in the hands of a fucking batshit crazy out of touch child. Someone should kill her. Crazy ass bitch. I mean, that's what Misen, I guess, was awakened, right? She had like the berserk mode, like, just like aura, just like, you know, like, what's the word? Like, smoke coming out of her mouth. The flower crowns? Never mind. Pins. Three times? No. True. Base prince. Misen, though. I guess Misek eventually did it because she feels like she's dragging the team down. She wants to like, I don't know, like contribute? Or maybe Verdi just forced it on her. You're matching couples. New <laughs> Misek heard new prince and she's like, ah, oh, hell no. Nah. We're definitely cooked if I have to rely on him. Fuck it. I, I will do it. I I'll, I'll, I'll say the line three times. There it is. <laughs> she has that much zero faith in Prince. But I don't think it's just that. It's probably because like she feels like she's letting the team down. She wants to be helpful. Oh, she took both. Yo, that's double dosing. Yo, you're supposed to only have one. This is going to be double the trouble. <laughs> Ah oh, shit. Hype soundtrack. Berserk me saying. It's kinda cute though. The mad dog and the lizard. The lizard. Is lizard alligator? That's not really rack. Mad dog though, that's the strongest E rank guy. Yo, Prince, why are you on your knees like that with that outfit? I'm scared. Yo, go take the hair clips off. Balls. Oh, okay, okay. That's two down. I love how he has a separate mask on and even like dyed his hair. You're not cute, fuck you. Yo, announcer. You better stop disrespecting me saying she's gonna take you out next. What? I don't know. Blame the fucking octopus girl. <laughs> Another double kill. That's quadra kill now. You're next. Yo, this soundtrack. <laughs> Holy shit. It's a boss theme. Uh-oh. Take the flower clips off. Yes. Better than nothing. So what do you do then? Give up? Kill her? Prince, 
Okay, that's an unfair comparison because this me thing is not a simple fucking doll. She's like this monster right now. New prince, come on, solve it. Yeah, this is all fun and games, right? AK is dub right now, right? Wow, great talk no jutsu. What's gonna happen if Prince approaches and Prince fucking dies? Are you gonna say the same shit of saying WAK? No. It's all fun and games until some shit really fucking happens. Alright, let's, let's go. It's kinda scary though. Oh, oh, oh. Not good enough. <laughs> One round dead. <laughs> wow, my prince in shining armor. You tell me, bro. You're stuck in a third person. Okay, okay. Okay, sure. <laughs> nah, you're jinxing your sub. You can't say this in the heat of the battle. She's gonna fucking break it now. <laughs> Bruh. Me thing. Yeah, you. Oh. It's not your fault. There, dude, Pins is just really just bringing out all the fucking sensitive topics right now. Holy shit. This is like, you're weak. Borrowed power. You're letting everyone down. Your parents fucking left you. How do you feel about that, Misen? <laughs> she stopped right before him. He knew it? I don't know what compelled her to stop when we were in taunting and provoking her the entire time, but Prince had a big ball moment. Yeah, that was like an all-out fucking gamble. And he knew that, like, she would stop. Okay. New Prince. Kind of cool. He was shaking his boots the entire time, though. Probably pissed his pants. And Misang had a pretty cool moment, though. The Berserk Misang stuff. She thinks that people will leave if she's weak. Is bro pre-ordering right now? I can't tell. Let's go! All of us. All three of us are on the board. That, I guess we should thank Verdi for this. Without Verdi, maybe this would have been possible. Thank you, Octopus Girl. Funk! The fuck? The first round was just to show people the rules? First round not low-key was easier than everyone just go all at once? I guess it's nice for like pacing. Yo. <laughs> I love how you say this in this cute sailor, you know, school uniform outfit. Yeah. What? Huh? <laughs> Again, you, you can't be saying this shit while you're wearing this, huh? What do you mean you're a grower? What? Oh, that's pretty good. I don't know if people are going to write headlines with this shit, but I think I will crush Fug as a good line. Not really because it's like antagonizing Veal, but I don't think Veal really wants it. Maybe like crushing Fug is like a way of like liberating Veal from his responsibilities and he can join his friends. People love this shit. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, she could straight up be a fucking archbishop from ReZero. 100%.
someone as dangerous as her just fucking plotting two people together, you know, having these fucking powers, just like, and talking about love and stuff like that. She gives me Archbishop fucking vibes. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh shit. Okay, we're going in Pont and Kosing. Is there anyone that's cool? Uh Quatro's in. Bon, Tolbia, John, Seven, Moonzo. I'm just looking for some like cool, interesting names, but that's about it. Quatro. There's a guy named Cookie. Yama's mad dog. This guy, this guy's hyped up like crazy. What's she gonna do, bro? Nothing. What's she gonna do? Horyang, <laughs> Horyang save, Horyang save. Yep. Of course. Like, the, this girl straight up only exists to be like a fucking love interest for Horyang, I swear to God. Like, what does she do? Maybe the anime can't really show what she's done in the, like, in the, in the, the webtoon, but like, I genuinely don't understand why she even exists. Me saying, I don't even know either. She kind of like, is like the daughter figure for AK and there's something going on with Prince. I don't really know what the hell she does other than just be like this girl for Horia. Oh, you're not Mad Dog, are you? No, 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 it's not the guy. Where's Mad Dog at? Koitro. <laughs> She just lit him on fire. I did, okay, I guess that's not against the rules. Okay, yeah, 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 pretty much. He doesn't even have to hit them. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> Yun. There she is. Here we go. Says <laughs> so the girl that just has no control with the fucking fire that cooks everything to crisp, but maybe she changed. Maybe she's controller fire now. Let's see it. The new Yun. Arsonist, bro. Pyromancer. Wow. Look at that development. Yes. I agree. 100% she does. Mad Dog. Hey, what is that outfit? Damn. He has so much aura. The strongest E rank hunter, apparently. Yeah, who did that? Why is he the strongest? Even then, Dorsey's locked in. <laughs> Bro is just walking to the center to, to fucking put it in. No one's gonna contend. Well, no, if he's the strongest, then why even bother, right? You're just gonna get defeated. Yo, someone stop him. Oh, shit. Amaguta. <laughs> Don't throw your life away. It's such a fucking humble way of flexing, man. Damn! <laughs> One thing about his outfit that kind of like ruins the immersion for me, and maybe it will for you too, so I apologize in advance for, you know, taking away Yama's Mad Dog aura right now, is that these look like sperm tadpoles. His head figure piece. It just looks like individual fucking sperm thing going along. And now I can't, I just, I'm just seeing that. Now it's just going to ruin my immersion of Yama Mad Dog. Funky. Bro loves him funky. What happened there? I don't fucking know. I just, this, this just showed up out of nowhere. It's fucking dead. Okay. He didn't even use his bung. Meaning that was not a Shinsu attack. He didn't even use his bung. A bung is literally necessary for Shinsu related attacks. That was something else entirely. <laughs> he just walked in and put it in. Damn. This guy's next level. In his eyes, it's like pitch black with like red pupil and then Kind of like grayish hair, and again, more sperm on the side. Who's talking? Slayer Baylord Yama. So Yama's mad dog. Yama is a slayer. Another slayer exists. And there's a secret fucking fight club. 
Alright, I guess it's his best fighter.彼らの強さを見て刀剣さんびきを選別者として試験に送り込んだのです。ラガブはそのうちの一人で。ま、いい救済郷と呼ばれるまでに。ある時を境に通に。ぐで、山。俺、マッドッ。そして今は。アウカ
there's still that date on the line with N. Dorsey and Bum. I wonder if that's ever gonna happen during workshop battle. Hey, what? what do they say there? Oh, basically bad PR. Right? Like, in order to be like the messiah that's gonna, you know, deliver people to paradise, you can't say shit like, y'all are fucking monkeys. Stop following me. Ew, go away. Mm. Can you make the connections? That's a lot of convenient, uh, sorry, uh, coincidences. Yo, Novak's cooking. Novik. Beta. Beta. Very important guy. They're not... Well, why would Fug send Veal here with this identity being threatened? And then Beta shows up immediately. I wonder if that's the show trying to tell us that the connection is him and that he's actually the really important guy that we almost confront or something. I'm not really sure. I don't know. I, I, whatever. It, it, fuck always orders whatever they want for their goals, right? Or, or maybe they want Veal to go down. Maybe it's like an inside coup, but they don't trust anymore. Like Karaka and other people, they don't really trust, you know, Veal, right? But I don't really know. But I feel like Beta here, this, this guy is very important. He's like the special experiment from, you know, Horyang's like sensei, right? He's like another ignition weapon kind of type, right? What's the matchup? Novik versus not Horyang. But if this actually is Horyang, I will die laughing. What is your will? Ugh. That's actually, that's, I, I did ask that today too. Where, where, where the fuck is Rachel? She hasn't shown up in a long time. What's she doing? <laughs> Beta. What does he want? I don't fucking know, man. He wants to talk with Fiel Last match. Bald. Okay. Oh, Anak Zahad. Ran is in there too. That's fucking hype. Anak and Ran, I think. They did already have a matchup. This is gonna be round two. Okay, Rematch. That's what the lizard was. I was fixated on Rack, thinking lizard, alligator. No, no, no. The lizard refers to Anak. But she didn't really do much this episode other than how you hyped up at the end. Here we go. The end. That's another episode of Tower of God, and as the episode progresses, I'm starting to become a little bit more hopeful of how the workshop battle is going to, you know, pick up. Many good animation scenes today. Nothing was just static, we didn't have random floating images or just off-screen fights. We actually get to see the whole movement. Mising scenes was, was more funny, right, than epic, but the boss theme playing, the little girl just popping off, the contrast there, it was pretty hype. Prince also has some great moments, New Prince, and the rest of the gang declaring that they will take, you know, the old bag, that they will, you know, destroy Fug. That was a nice heartfelt moment. Mad Dog? He's, I guess he's him. Like, Mad Dog, bro, his outfits, it's, it's pretty interesting, but no one wants to face him. And people who does, like, they get instantly taken out. I'm not sure what his powers are, but whatever he showed us was not even a Shinsu power, and he hates Fug due to the whole fight ring lore. Viol right now? A lot of people are turning into worshippers. A lot of people are turning into followers, even if they're fake followers. And he doesn't want to grant them their wish. And if he keeps saying this, won't Fug be mad that like a well, maybe not, because at the end of the day, as long as like Viol, you know, acts the role as a slayer to kill King Zahad, maybe it doesn't matter. But it's kind of interesting how they propose the question: Why would they send him here, despite his identity, you know, being exposed? Beta is set up as a very important character. And Dorsey is looking super hot. And that's it for me. If you're still here, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.